Hi. Could you point me to the ladies' room? Yeah, sure. It's just right over there. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I just overheard. Are you looking for the women's bathroom? Yes, I found it. Thanks. Uh, no, I, I know you might feel like you're a woman, but you're obviously a man. You can't go in there. It's happening across the country. Lawmakers deciding whether transgender Americans should be allowed to use the restrooms designated for the gender they identify with. The justice is choosing not to take up a challenge to a Pennsylvania school district's policy on transgender students. And if it's discrimination when they're forced to do otherwise. Trans equality now! Today in this restaurant, this mother has her mind clearly made up. I have a young lady here. It's not right for you to be in there while she is. Men should use the men's bathroom. If you witness someone demanding that a trans woman use the men's bathroom. But I am a woman. Well, you can think what you want, but we all know you're a man. What would you do? Joining us on the set today is Jazz Jennings. Hello. Jazz, good to see you again. Good to see you. Been a long time. Oh, thank you for joining us. Of course. In 2007, Jazz, at the age of six, Hi. sat down for a groundbreaking interview with her own Barbara Walters on 2020. Tell me about this picture. Why is the little girl crying? Because she wants to wear the dress to school. Is the little girl you? Since then, Jazz has worked to accelerate acceptance for the transgender community, even starring in her own show on TLC, I Am Jazz, where she brings her personal issues into the national spotlight. I wasn't allowed to use the girls' bathroom at my elementary school. I had to use the nurse's restroom, and it was just disgusting. Kids were vomiting, everything. All right, call them out, call them out. We're at the Randolph Diner in Randolph, New Jersey, where Nadia, our transgender actress, has a very simple question. Sorry, uh, why's the ladies' room? The ladies' room? The ladies' room's just right over there. Okay, thank you yeah. so much. But our mom at a nearby table. Wait, I'm sorry, you asked for the women's bathroom? Sees this as a problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, they, they no, 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 no. Is that a joke or something? Excuse me? Well, you think you're a woman, right? You're really a man, so you should be using the men's bathroom. This is crazy. My stomach is like in knots right now. It's We're just getting started. I know. This group is tuned in. I mean, if you guys want to go in first, have to... no, that's not the point. I don't know anybody who would be comfortable with that. Does that seem realistic to you? Some yeah, people she's, say those she's selling it. Men should go in the men's bathroom. I mean, you can go to the women's bathroom to even listen to them. She's being ridiculous. He defends Nadia. I'm sorry. What did you say? Um, to the women's bathroom. I don't see why it's an issue. While his friend makes her way out of the booth. You come with me. She's going with her? Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> she walks with her all the way to the ladies' room. Thank you. And when she returns... Yeah. Excuse me, why did you do that? I just don't feel comfortable letting someone talk to her. I don't feel comfortable yeah. her using the women's bathroom, right? I'm a Christian. So like, I have certain beliefs. You just gotta love people the way that you're supposed to love people. And if she feels comfortable using a woman's bathroom, she's not hurting anyone. I think that's interesting because most people use Christianity Bye, to... Against it. Against, and she's saying, no, Christian, Christianity says you have to love everyone. Well, she's transgender. That's fine. They have to go to the bathroom, too. It's not always just a matter of safety. It's just not right. I disagree with you. It's just a bathroom. Well, what message is this to my daughter? Everybody pees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew I liked the green hair girl. And that's really it. Everybody has to use the bathroom. With that, Here we, go. we decide to introduce ourselves. Hi, guys. How are you? It's what would you do? You got involved. Tell us why. Because it was just wrong. Yeah. It was discriminatory. And I felt like it was just, even regardless of that, it was hurting someone's feelings. Yeah. Yeah. So. You were very kind and gentle. You didn't condemn her. Well, because everyone has their thoughts and opinions. And even as wrong as they can be, they shouldn't be shut down for them. Everyone needs to be accepted in some way. What makes you this way? Well, I mean, I'm a Christian. So I just try to love people as much as I can. Do you know Jazz Jennings? I do. Well, guess what? She's here. Hello. Nice to meet you all. Hello. So as you may know, I'm transgender myself. So seeing you stick up for this woman over here was just incredible to me. And what you said specifically, that you just need to love everyone. And that's what that religion is all about. I really, really appreciated that. And I appreciate all of you. So nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> as our mom continues to voice her opinion, 
You're a man. You should be using the men's room, not the ladies' room. And more customers share their own feelings. Yeah, I think like old people are still stuck in their old ways. It's not her business. This man supports Nadia, but he's got a different idea of what might be best. It's really better to have maybe a kind of bathroom with one person goes in and shuts the door and uses it, you know, one at a time or something. And this woman? I don't think it's safe and I don't think it's right. Throws her hands up in disagreement. I it wouldn't bother me, I'm sorry. Now, this man seems to notice what's going on. It's obvious you're not a woman, and I wouldn't want my daughter in the bathroom with you. I'm sorry. As our daughter asks her mom to use that bathroom. I really need to go. Come on. All right, sweetie. Just a minute. Just a minute. We wonder what he's thinking. But see, if she needs to go, I'm sorry. I'm not going to send her in there if there's a chance you're going in there. Okay, I'm just going to go to the bathroom first, and then I'll leave. As soon as Nadia leaves, he opens up. Thank Obama. What's that? Thank Obama. <laughs> Thank Obama? He's the one who made that possible. Well, what do you mean? He's the one who said that you have to have it, uh, a roof off. They're allowed to use the woman's room. Oh, oh. Otherwise, you wouldn't have it. Wow. He's the one who said you have it, so they could use it. They can do that? Yeah. <laughs> do you agree with that? I don't. You don't? No, I, I do. don't. Time to find out more. We're delving into a real serious issue, you know, that's very controversial. I, I, I don't think it's correct. I, I, I think Obama was the one that created that problem. You mentioned that. I think if uh, you know, you're a woman, you're born a woman, you should use the woman's restroom. But you weren't going to confront? No. No. Her? No. She has every right to do what she wants, but uh, I mean, the law, I think, allows them to use the uh, woman's restroom, right? I mean, it makes me feel uncomfortable. You know, especially since I have granddaughters, and I really wouldn't want them going into a restroom that has a man. Or body parts that are made. It's as simple as that. We're back at it with Jazz Jennings, whose activism in the trans community started when she was very young. So remember this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your interview with Barbara. Yeah. Yeah. You were. An interview that changed everything. Are you a boy? Oh, a girl. I am definitely a girl. Quiet down, guys. Quiet down. Our hidden cameras are still rolling at the diner, where we've been capturing reactions. She's very wrong. You're yeah. fine. On both sides. Do you agree with that? I don't. Of the transgender bathroom debate. You're taking this group of people and saying you're not allowed to do something that other people are allowed to do just because they identify a different way. Now Jazz is about to join our actresses in the scene. I'm getting mic'd up right now, about to go into the scene myself. She's playing Nadia's friend. I mean, you're obviously a man. Why would you be going to the women's bathroom? Our mom's question quickly captures these women's attention. Jazz says she's a woman. She's not a man, she's a woman. Yeah, I just need to use the bathroom. If you want to go in first and go ahead of me, that's fine. Like, I don't even know if I want my daughter in there. She doesn't agree with Diana's approach. But she does seem to agree with her views. I agree with you, I do. But I think that's very rude of you to do that. I really do. I'm just not comfortable with... Well, eat your food and just leave. I'm not comfortable with him. No, I mean, but he's, he's not bothering me. She's not bothering anybody. She's minding her business. This is good. This is good. But as our mom continues her campaign... You keep calling him a she. Well, that's how she addresses herself. Look at him. He's not like a woman, man. I don't see an Adam's apple. She gets more and more steadfast in her approach. She is a woman. I know, and she is. I feel so bad. Yeah. I feel bad. Thank, thank you. Thank I you so much. I understand how you feel. There's nothing we can do, you know, because you can't discriminate. You're really discriminating. I'm going to take my daughter to the latest room. Yeah. When our mom and daughter leave, I, mean, I feel bad. <sighs> Nadia thanks them for their support. Hey, thank you guys so much. I mean, I know you don't have to agree. I really appreciate it. That's okay. And just as we're about to tell them our little secret. You look I'm like, um, Jess. Oh, Joe, oh, we better come out. Well, I was gonna say. 
I am Jazz, yes. Oh my God. She's really helped me through my transition, yeah. so she's been great. She is, she is the Jazz. Yeah. Yeah. She looks beautiful. Well, we've been busted. It's What Would You Do, and this is Jazz Jennings. Yes, you figured it out. <laughs> tell us why you spoke up. I can tell you, I'm a minority, so I know how it is to try to, when, when I come and I'm the only African-American, a black woman in a restaurant, and they looking at me like I must come up in here, steal something, you know? So you can relate? Of course I can, definitely. Shouldn't make a difference. I don't think it should make a difference. I really don't, you know? Because I'm a Christian, and I know what I believe, but I would never hurt anybody's feelings because I thought that was very rude. The world is changing, and I think we have to accept yes, it. Thank you so much. As we roll one last time, Jazz is back behind the scenes. I'm sorry, I overheard you asking for the women's bathroom. Yeah, I found it, thanks. And this group is settling in for lunch. I mean, shouldn't you be in the men's bathroom, not the women's bathroom? Um, no, I I'm a woman. That makes no sense why you would go to a woman's bathroom. That's disgusting. You know, there's a certain way to go about that. That's not right to say right there, go about it that way. There's a better way to do that. At first, he seems to take issue with her tactic. What do you mean? Because she's trans and I can let her go to the bathroom and giving her a problem? I have my daughter here. Okay. So then take her to the bathroom real quick. You don't need to make a big scene about it. Why are you defending him? Because what you're doing is not right. I think what, what he's doing isn't right. How is, how is anything wrong with that? Why don't you go to the women's bathroom? Because I don't. I'm not a woman. Now he attacks the accuracy of her allegations. All right. She is, yeah. He is not. Yes, she is. Why are you young people defending all of this? Because what you're doing is wrong. Do you agree with him? Well, I don't have a problem with it. It's, it's not affecting me. Well, you're not a woman. I am, and I'm my daughter. Well, you don't know what I am. You're just assuming what I am. You don't know what I am. Time to say hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh -oh. We wanted crazy. to see what you guys would do. You jumped yeah. in right away. Yes, yes, I did. Why? because I just thought it was wrong. It's about respecting people, so I thought it was wrong, especially in a public place like that. It just wasn't right. There's a woman named Jazz Jennings, with her own TV show. She's our expert today. She was really impressed with what you said. Hello, nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Just seeing you guys stick up for this woman over here was so incredible to me. It really just restored my faith in humanity because not everyone had the same reaction as you guys. Thank you for accepting and appreciating people for who they are. For Nadia and Jazz, situations like our scene are their everyday reality. It's hard being trans in this world. Not everyone agrees with it, but I feel like it makes us stronger and allows us to be more confident in ourselves. I didn't even know what transgender was until I was 14. And I saw Jazz's video. It was oh. like you were three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, um, you were, it was like you were really young. And okay. I saw it, and that's how I learned what being trans was. And then I slowly, like, I am a woman. You know, and it was people like Jazz who really helped me realize, like, this is who I am. So, so you got to work with your hero. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>